Hold on to your hats, folks, because the Princess of Wales just brought the sparkle game to a whole new level. Catherine, known for her impeccable style and regal grace, stunned onlookers as she graced the royal wedding of Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan and Princess Rajwa. And let me tell you, she did not disappoint. The most striking feature of Catherine's ensemble was the breathtaking lover's not tiara. This magnificent headpiece adorned with diamonds and pearls was originally crafted in 1914 and was a favorite of none other than Princess Diana herself. Talk about paying homage to a true icon. The lover's not tiara holds a special place in the hearts of the royal family. It was a wedding gift from Queen Elizabeth II to Diana in 1981, and after Diana's tragic passing, it was lovingly passed down to Catherine. Now, it has become one of her most cherished pieces of royal jewelry. The tiara is a beautiful reminder of the bond between these incredible women transcending time and generations. But let's not forget about the dress. Catherine wowed the crowd in a pink, embellished gown that perfectly complemented the elegance of her tiara. Designed by the renowned Ellie Sayab, the dress added a touch of romance and sophistication to her overall look. It's safe to say that all eyes were on Catherine as she radiated sheer beauty and grace. This royal wedding was a momentous occasion, and Catherine's presence made it even more memorable. Not only did she honor her late mother-in-law, but she also showcased her impeccable sense of style and her commitment to carrying on the traditions of the British monarchy. It's worth noting that this was the first time Catherine has worn a tiara since the diplomatic reception at Buckingham Palace. This surprise trip to Jordan was kept under wraps until the last moment. Just a few hours before the palace marriage ceremony, Jordanian state media confirmed the arrival of William and Catherine. Their warm welcome by King Abdullah and Queen Rania set the tone for an unforgettable celebration. The wedding ceremony itself was a sight to behold. The bride, Princess Rajwa, looked absolutely radiant in an Eli Sayab bridal gown, while Prince Hussein, in his military uniform, exuded strength and nobility. The couple exchanged vows in an Islamic marriage ceremony known as Kat Kab Kab, surrounded by loved ones and well-wishers. As the newlyweds greeted their guests, the British royals joined in the celebration, embracing the couple with hugs and kisses on the cheeks. It was a beautiful display of camaraderie and goodwill between nations. The ties between Prince Hussein and Prince William run deep. The two have developed a close bond over the years, with Hussein hosting William during his solo trip to Jordan in 2018. They even watched an England football match together, making sure William didn't miss out on the action during his visit. A true testament to their friendship. For Catherine, this wedding held special significance beyond the royal connection. She spent three years of her childhood in Jordan when her father, Michael Middleton, was working there for British Airways. The country holds cherished memories for her, and she has made it a point to return with her own family, including their visit to the ancient city of Petra. In a world that often feels tumultuous and uncertain, the magic of a royal wedding reminds us of the power of love, tradition, and unity.